Well, hello there. Today we are talking about prepping your nails for the absolute most wonderful, flawless Jamberry application possible. So think of it this way. Prepping your fingernails are kind of like spanks for your fingernails. You know as well as I do, ladies, that sometimes what's underneath matters more than what everyone else sees because you know underneath that pretty little dress you got something nipping tucking sucking and smoothing i want you to take that thought into your jamberry nail wrap application if you don't take the time to prep your nails correctly you're not going to have the most beautiful application you possibly can and we all know we want you to have an absolutely gorgeous flawless jamberry application not only just for aesthetic purposes but also for the longevity of the wear of your wraps you're starting with completely naked nails we're going to use our jamberry cuticle remover pen and we're just going to apply that all around our cuticles we're going to take our metal cuticle pusher and we're going to push back all of our cuticles you do not want to push hard allow the solution of the cuticle remover to do its job you want to remove any of the invisible cuticle that might have grown out onto your nail uh, a lot of times we don't realize that this is there, hence it's called invisible cuticle. But it's essential that you remove all of that so that your wrap adheres directly to your nail and not to the cuticle was essentially skin. That's what causes lifting at the curvature of the, the cuticle of your nail. Your cuticles should just push back pretty simply. You may get some nasties. That's kind of cool. Just wipe that off on your paper towel and keep going on to the next nail. After you've done this, you want to wash your nails thoroughly. I like to use Dawn dishwashing soap. Dawn cuts grease out of the way. You guys know that. Haven't you seen the commercials with the little birdies and they clean them all up so nice and beautiful and get all the nasty oil off their, you know, off their feathers after an oil spill? Yeah, so use Dawn. I don't know of another brand that does the exact same thing as Dawn, so I stick with what we have. Uh, we actually have this in a pump by our sink at the house, so it works out really well. So you're gonna wash your hands really well, scrubby, scrubby. And then use just a paper towel to really dry your nails. And then you're ready for the next step. This is where things differ depending on your body type and your pH. I traditionally had used the Jamberry Nail Prep Solution for my wraps. Now, that worked great for me up until I started taking a medication for my thyroid. The pH of my nails did change and I noticed that my wraps just weren't sticking as well. So I experimented with some different things after I researched just kind of pH of your nails and everything. And what works best for me personally is just to use pure acetone to clean my nails right prior to application. If you are using acetone, you're gonna notice that it really sucks the moisture out of your nails. So any flaws that you have in your nails are going to become apparent. Any nail damage, any cracks, any, uh, any scratches to the surface, you're gonna see that when you use the acetone because it does suck the moisture right out of those nails, which is actually a good thing for a flawless Jamberry Nails application. The really the only time you need to stray away from just using alcohol on its own is if you have some sort of change in your body chemistry that would justify you kind of switching over. Now, I realize I'm a Jamberry girl, but if you are on a budget, um, I would say the one product that you could cut out that's not completely necessary because you probably have something similar in your kitchen or you can switch it out is going to be the nail prep solution. I always recommend to people who are new to Jamberry, you're going to want to start off with the basic bundle and also add to that our pink magical goodness that is the lacquer and wrap remover the wrap remover along with the basic bundle is really essential but this is one product that you can skip at first i know that that's not what i'm supposed to say but if you're new to jamberry it's true if you're on a budget if you're looking at what to do this is the one thing you can kind of take out of your cart i will tell you though later on you're going to want to try all the products so you'll put it back in but really at the beginning this is one you can skip I'm just a truth teller. Really, that's all you need to do. One other final word on applying your wraps. You might hear that, oh, you can apply your wraps anywhere, anytime, anyplace, no problems. I'm gonna give you a word of caution on that. I 
always recommend that you start off with completely, completely dry nails and you don't shower or bathe immediately afterward. Some ladies can apply wraps and go straight into swimming, water skiing, anything, and have absolutely no problem. But if you do have oilier nail beds, you really want to err on the side of caution. You also don't want to apply your wraps right after getting out of a bath or shower or swimming pool or hot tub or any other sort of water solution just because your nails do absorb moisture. Think of it like your hair absorbs moisture. You know, the best application is going to be with clean, dry nails. So anything you can do to achieve that is going to be essential to that beautiful under layer of your nail wrap. What I like to do is apply my wraps right before bed, go to bed, sleep through it, and then in the morning, I'm good to go hop in the shower, all that jazz. So really guys, that's it. It's not fancy schmancy, it's just some real basics, but sometimes we need to start with the basics. So if you do not have a personal consultant, I would love to have you in my very amazing VIP group. You know, Jamberry doesn't often do a gift with purchase, although we did recently, but I am your gift with purchase. You're welcome. We really do want you to be connected with a personal consultant who can walk you through one-on-one -on -one your application um, and match designs up for you, let you know the latest trends in nail art, gels, foot care, everything. So make sure you are connected with a consultant. If you do not have a personal consultant, I will leave a link below to my fantabulous VIP group. If you do request to join, please make sure you check your others box because I always send you a message and I want to make sure that you respond to that before I allow you in the group. So I'll see you in an upcoming video. Bye now. Can y'all believe I used to fill this out?